The soaring cost of energy. British companies call for immediate action from the government after warning that some factories could soon shut down. And coming up, secrets in suburban America. A married couple are arrested by the FBI on suspicion of spying. And on Reporting Scotland, new figures show more than 100 Police Scotland officers have been investigated for sexual misconduct over the past four years. The headlines on Reporting Scotland this Monday lunchtime. More than 100 Police Scotland officers investigated for sexual misconduct over the past four years. Hello there, good afternoon. More than 100 Police Scotland officers have been investigated over sexual misconduct claims in the last four years. The force says when someone fails to meet the highest standards, appropriate action is taken. Our reporter, Connor Gillis, is at a police station for us this lunchtime. Connor, what do these new figures tell us? Well, Sarah, there were 181 sexual allegations between 2017 and this year, and that involved 106 uh, police officers who are facing formal misconduct proceedings as a result. Action has been taken in 63 of those cases, and there are 80 allegations still being considered by the force. Now, this data came to light through freedom of information requests by Channel 4, and we've also learned that in 21 cases, the officer either either quit the force or retired, which pauses the whole thing. It cancels the investigation. They're perfectly entitled uh, to leave, but it means that they cannot be subject to further disciplinary claims and they can still collect their pension. And as a point of interest in England, in some cases, uh, then the officer can still be pursued if they choose to leave the force. And Connor, this comes at a time of renewed focus on the conduct of the police. Yeah, I think that's fair, obviously, uh, given the uh, situation in London. Sarah Everard was abducted, raped and murdered by a serving police officer. But closer to home, there have been issues with uh, Police Scotland as well. Last week, the force announced an independent review uh, looking at uh, the sexist culture within the armed policing unit. That was uh, following evidence given at a tribunal. Now, the Deputy Chief Constable Fiona Taylor has issued a statement today. She's saying they expect the high highest standards of integrity among officers and anyone who falls short of that will receive action. Conor Gillis, thank you.